y is equal to e to the power m sin inverse x prove that 1 minus x square into y n plus 2 minus of 2 n plus 1 into bracket x y n plus 1 minus m square plus n square into the bracket y n equal to 0 you prove that ok now solution we have given y y is equal to e to the power m sin inverse x now you differentiate this y differentiate y with respect to x this become y1 y1 is equal to differentiate right hand side generally e to the power x differentiate we get e to the power x so differentiate this one we get e raised to e to the power m into sin inverse x again differentiate m sin inverse x m is a constant m is as it is in a differentiation of sin inverse x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square ok take left hand side or whole equation multiplying by square root of 1 minus x square we get is uh, square root of 1 minus x square y1 equal to m into e to the power m sin inverse x once again you differentiate with respect to x now left hand side is a product rule u into v ok now square root of 1 minus x square as it is differentiation of y1 is y2 plus now y1 is as it is and differentiate root x uh, uh, sorry generally the root x differentiate you get 1 upon 2 into root x now similarly using the standard formula 1 upon 2 into square root of 1 minus x square again minus x square differentiate minus 2x equal to m is as it is ok differentiate this one e to the power m sin inverse x as it is again m sin inverse x differentiate m is a constant sin inverse x is 1 upon square root of 1 minus x square ok now take left hand side uh, that means the whole equation you multiply them by square root of 1 minus x square see root root get cancelled it is 1 minus x square y2 2 to cancel again multiply by square root of 1 minus x square and divide by square root of 1 minus x square get cancelled only remaining minus sign x y1 equal to m into m m square e to the power m sin inverse x multiplying once again cancel so this is a m square e to the power m sin inverse x but this part is given y y is given now m square y shift left hand side is 1 minus x square into bracket y2 minus x y1 shift minus m square y equal to 0 ok now we prove that y n plus 2 differentiate 2 times and n plus 2 using Leibniz rule now differentiate uh, this is called equation number 1 differentiate 1 with respect to x n times that means d raised to n 1 minus x square y2 close it minus d raised to n second term x y1 minus m square is constant d raised to n y only equal to 0 now we have Leibniz rule ok 
so Leibniz rule is what d raised to n u v u v n plus n c 1 u 1 v n minus 1 plus n c 2 u 2 v n minus 2 plus so on plus u n v now so this Leibniz theorem or Leibniz rule applying each term okay the first one applying this is u part and this is v therefore 1 minus x square uh, v n means y2 y n plus 2 plus n c1 differentiate this one you get a minus 2x again one step back y n plus 1 plus n c2 next u2 means again differentiate minus 2 again one step back y n next is not possible is a constant you get 0 minus second term x as it is polynomial and this is y n is become y n plus 1 n c1 differentiate x become 1 y n next is 0 minus m square as it is differentiate is a y n equal to 0 tenth time now 1 minus x square y n plus 2 n minus sign n c 1 means n 2 x y n plus 1 plus n c 2 means n into n minus 1 2 factorial means 2 only minus 2 y n open the bracket minus x y n plus 1 and this is minus sign n c 1 is n minus n y n and last one is minus m square y n equal to 0 ok now see x y n x y n now therefore 1 minus x square y n plus 2 minus take outside is 2n plus 1 into the bracket x y n plus 1 next is a 2 to cancel n into n into minus y n is minus n square y n n into minus 1 into minus y n is plus n y n and next is minus n y n minus m square y n equal to 0 now see plus minus get cancelled therefore 1 minus x square y n plus 2 minus of 2n plus 1 x y n plus 1 and y n y n common minus is common minus m square plus n square y n equal to 0 this is a required solution okay now next example if y is given y is a a cos of log x plus b sin of log x prove that you prove that x square y n plus 2 plus 2 n plus 1 into x y n plus 1 plus n square plus 1 into y n equal to 0 you prove that ok now solution given y a cos of log x b sign of log x ok now you differentiate to y with respect to x y become y1 after differentiation a is as it is constant differentiation of cos is minus sign minus sign of log x into again log x differentiate into 1 by x plus b as it is differentiation of sign is cos cos of log x again log x differentiate into 
1 by x. So 1 by x, 1 by x common, take cross multiply. Uh, that means uh, x y1 equal to minus a sine of log x plus b cos of log x. Okay. Now, again you differentiate. Again, differentiate with respect to x. So, once again you differentiate this one. Left hand side is a product root. X, u into v. So, x y2 plus the differentiation of x is 1. Then y1 is as it is. Okay. So, minus a same. Differentiation of sine is cos. Cos of log x into again log x 1 by x. Next, differentiation of cos is minus sine, minus b sine of log x, again log x differentiate is a 1 by x. This 1 by x, 1 by x take left hand side, means multiply x square y2 plus x y1 equal to minus a cos of log x minus b sin of log x so right hand both side is both are negative take minus outside means take bracket and make a plus now see this part is a inside the bracket is a given y y this part is a y okay now this total is is a y Now therefore, x square y2 plus x y1, now shift left hand side minus y become plus y equal to 0. Okay, improve that x square y n plus 2, differentiate 2 times and next is differentiate n times, y n plus 2. Now call this is equation number 1. Differentiate equation number 1 with respect to x n times. So d raised to n x square y2 plus second term d raised to n x y1 plus d raised to n third term y equal to 0. Now we have Leibniz rule. This is a Leibniz rule. So n c one u one v n minus one n c two u two v n minus two plus so on. Okay. Now Leibniz rule. We apply each term separately. The first one is x square polynomial equation as it is and phi n this is y2 means y n plus 2 plus next n c1 u1 means differentiate 2x phi n minus 1 is y n plus 1 plus next n c2 differentiate again into 2 y n next is not possible 0 plus second term x y n plus 1 again plus second term a uh, second one plus n c 1 differentiation of x is 1 y n second term is over next third one is only single y plus y n equal to 0 okay therefore x square y n plus 2 n c 1 means c n 2 x y n plus 1 plus n c2 means n into n minus 1 by 2 factorial means 2 only into 2 y n plus as it is n c1 means n n y n plus y n equal to 0 okay x square y n plus 2 now see x y n plus 1 x y n plus 1 take common now inside is 2n plus 1 into x y n plus 1 okay 
plus n into n into 2 to cancel n into n into y n plus n square y n n into minus 1 into y n minus y n uh, minus n y n then plus n y n this one last one is y n equal to 0 plus a minus n plus get cancel therefore last is x square y n plus 2 plus 2n plus 1 into x y n plus 1 and y n is common plus n square plus 1 into y n equal to 0 this is required solution